and NASA spacecraft has detected a loud scream in space. The ominous noise was detected by Voyager 1, a space probe that is currently over 14.1 billion miles away from Earth, and is moving at around 38,000 miles per hour. In fact, just recently scientists announced that Voyager 1 has passed through our solar system's boundary, and this is where the noise was detected. The probe was launched over 44 years ago, and now it's flying through the interstellar medium, which NASA has said is beyond our sun's influence. This is a big deal, as it's the first time that a human-made object has been beyond this point in space. The screen that was detected is helping scientists analyse this area of space, something that we know very little about. Scientists, though, have a good idea of what's causing this noise, going on to explain that the noise is coming from the universe that's beyond our solar system, and that the most likely culprit is interstellar gas or plasma waves. Stella Ocker, a Cornell doctoral student in astronomy, said the following, It's very faint and monotone, because it's in a narrow frequency bandwidth. We're detecting the faint present hum of interstellar gas, as mentioned, this aerospace is an entirely new region for scientists, but they did say that there seems to be more going on here than they first theorised. As of right now though, the team are not 100% sure what's causing this noise, but have said that it may have been caused by thermally excited plasma oscillations. Plasma oscillation is the theorised motion of electrons or ions in a plasma, this gives scientists a great opportunity to observe this region of space, with one of the team members saying that for the first time we can see how this air of the universe interacts with the edge of our solar system. Scientists said that once the probe passed through this region of space it started to detect the noises. Senior author James Cordes said the following, The interstellar medium is like a quiet or gentle rain. In the case of a solar outburst, it's like detecting a lightning burst in a thunderstorm, and then it goes back to a gentle rain. The researchers have said that they're still in contact with Voyager 1, even though it's 14 billion miles away from Earth, and have said that they're constantly getting updates, with it sending around 160 bits every second. This data is helping us to understand a region of space that humans have never been to, and hope that it may reveal some of the universe's secrets beyond this region. Shami Chatterjee, a scientist at Cornell University, said the following, We've never had a chance to evaluate it. Now we know we don't need a fortuitous event related to the sun to measure interstellar plasma. Regardless of what the sun is doing, Voyager is sending back detail. The craft is saying here's the density I'm swimming through right now. Voyager is quite distant and will be doing this continuously. Advancements in quantum mechanical theories and new technologies that allow us to better perceive our universe and understand the answers to questions we never believed possible to answer seem to be developing every single day as scientists work to provide us with new insights and revelations to our universe that break the boundaries of what we thought was possible. These findings will often spawn new theories that will cause even the most stoic of people the need to sit back and collect their thoughts. One interesting theory that's been put forward by scientists is that we may exist inside of a black hole. The Big Bang has been a scientific discovery that has led to countless physicists and research scientists asking questions. When scientists pointed their sensitive measuring devices towards the sky and picked up on the large quantities of background radiation of the universe that helped them to paint an enlightening picture as to the original moments in time that our universe began, more questions began popping into their heads than could be answered. The most significant questions seemed to be the most recursive. If the Big Bang created the universe, 
then what created the Big Bang? This was a question that would go unanswered for many decades, and many others attempted to abandon the thought process altogether. How can we see what happened before anything ever even happened? This thought would soon change after mathematicians would make a strange comparison between the Big Bang and an unlikely celestial body that was still regarded as nothing more than a theory. Now the theory behind black holes was more than just shrouded in mystery, and it was not until a man by the recognisable name of Albert Einstein helped humanity to realise that space and time are interwoven and connected in something we refer to as the fabric of space-time. Interestingly, the mathematical theory of mass then being able to stretch and distort this fabric, similar to that of a rock resting on a cloth led to an interesting idea. It was in the math that scientists believed that if the mass of an object grew to a certain size, this would cause the fabric of space-time to stretch, and the mass, although finite, to be compressed into a zero-dimensional point with no volume, creating a singularity or as we commonly refer to as a black hole, with a gravitational force so great the light itself could not escape it. Of course, initially, many scientists believed that an infinite destiny was impossible, and that such an occurrence in the math was an obvious flaw, that were to prove the illegitimacy of general relativity, and that black holes could not possibly exist. Of course, this would come to change in time as better technology has allowed us to observe the effects of gravitational distortion, and the large supermassive black hole located at the centre of our galaxy. But an interesting comparison was made between the nature of black holes and the nature of the Big Bang. It became obvious to quantum physicists that the mass completely added up, that the Big Bang appeared to be the inverse perspective of the black hole, leading many physicists to believe that the creation of our universe very well could have been the creation of a black hole, and that existence and the stretching of space-time as we know it in reference to the expansion of our universe could merely be us existing inside of a singularity. Could it be possible then that we're merely a product of an outside aging universe, and that the original creation of our universe was from that event? Further evidence is provided when plotting out the fourth dimension graphing of the timeline of our universe, that shows a growing expanse from a singularity stretching out, similar to an infinite density could stretch the fabric of space-time leading many more scientists to find this theory to be a legitimate answer to the question of the Big Bang. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.